welcome to the structural analysis to video lecture so in this video lecture i am going to explain the analysis of frames using canis method without lateral sway so till now we have gone through the analysis of a continuous beam with fixed end and also analysis of the continuous beam with simply supported and free end so the analysis of portal frames is also plays a major role in studying so this kind of structure with the different supports mostly fixed support here so this is called as a portal and this is also called as a portal frame so we have one and two stories and this is one bay this is one bay and we have two stories so this is two story one bay portal frame so regarding these frames a canis method can be applied and the problem can be solved using this so if there is no sway in a frame sway sway in the sense due to horizontal loads so due to horizontal loads the sway the frame tends to move in this direction okay so if there is no lateral sway that means there is no lateral sway so if there is no sway in a frame the analysis is exactly the same as that for continuous beams so how we are doing the continuous beams analysis the same procedure is followed except that there may be more than two members meeting at a joint in the frames so in a beam suppose this is a beam at a joint b only two members so this is member 1 and member 2 only two members used to be uh, there here but in but in a frame there there might be more than one member sorry more than two members acting at a joint so that is what they have explained and the next point is while calculating rotation factors and rotation contributions all the members meeting at that joint should be considered so this is a general statement and it must be uh, followed while solving the problem so once have a glance on this uh, frame this is a rigid frame that means it cannot move okay here it is fixed end and here it is fixed and here it is fixed and here you can see not a simply supported this is a overhang type okay so this is a frame and we have bf here as and ce here and the distance is 4 meters and 3 meters respectively and this is having moment of inertia i and 2i and here we have the moment of inertia as i so there is a load here acting at and here we have 48 kN per meter udl and here we have 20 kN uh, point load acting at 2 meters from the left end okay next so this is uh, regarding the um, study of the uh, question so jumping to the solution the first thing we have to do is we have to find the fixed end moments so when you consider joint ba you can find the fixed end moment of ba bc and also bf at joint b we have three members that is ba bc and bf so on ba we have 20 kN load and also on bc we have 48 kN per meter udl and on bf there is no load acting so there will be no fixed end moment there will be no fixed end moment so similar at joint c cb cd and also ce but in ce if you see that there is no load acting on ce and the final uh, the fixed end moment of ce with respect to c and also with respect to e even though the end is fixed at e there is no load acting there so that is the reason at ce and bf they are considered as zero so when coming to this mfab mfab and mfba and mfba ये भी एंड बी ए वी हैव एंड द सेम मैनर बी सी एंड सी बी एंड सेम मैनर सी डी एंड डी सी इज देर आर नॉट 
let's see in the calculation part so this thing already we have steady this is the regular thing we do so okay right so mfcd we have that is 30 into 2 so this is uh, previously shown already so here these are the calculations and mfcd this is minus 30 into 2 so here we have 30 here we have 30 here and 30 into this distance 2 is considered for cantilever that is overhanging which is explained in the last but one video you can see so after this calculations we have told you already mfbf and mffb and mfce and mfec is equal to 0 because bf and ec bf and ec bf and ce doesn't carry any load that's the case that's the reason why these four moments are zeros next coming to rotation factors we know the rotation factors and when you are writing this table or column for a total frame <coughs> we have to consider bc also we have to consider bc also and we have to consider c apart from the horizontal members we have to consider the vertical members and we have to calculate in the same manner so keeping this 2, 2i and 2a here and for cd there is 0 why it is 0 because cd so cd uh, the end is simply supported end or uh, any overhanging or free end we, are, we cannot have any movement with respect to uh, c and d so we are considering it as 0 here the k value will be 0 fine so these are the calculations that are done and these are already shown in the previous video clearly so there is a video made by me on whiteboard in that every step is explained clearly so if still you have if any doubts you can ask me in the comment section in this video and explain you in the videos in the comment okay next going to back so this is also important so how it is important the same thing at a minus 4.44 and 8.89 minus 64 64 and minus 60 these are the fixed end moments and minus 0 0.4143 minus 0 0.214 and here minus 0 0.413 with respect to bf this is bf you are writing here so if we have one more portal here we have to write in this place also fine so this is minus 0 0.25 here and this is 0 and minus 0 0.25 so these are the rotation factors okay these are the rotation factors these values i have written in the box there okay correspondingly we have to write without disturbance so next uh, minus 55.11 uh, how we have got this i uh, will explain using a small uh, calculator yes so the sum of the moment with respect to uh, ab that is 8.89 minus 64 so that is minus 55.11 minus 55.11 so we have to sum up this and this value so we have got minus 55.11 here similarly if we add 64 and minus 60 we get the answer as 4 fine yes yes this is what and next we have how we got the value 7.88 so let me try to solve by using calculator if it is a scientific calculator the problems the calculation would be easy so how we got that is we have to we have one formula already that is minus 55.11 into sorry minus 0 0.41 143 into minus 55.11 plus 0 so this is what we have formula that rotation factor into the sum of the moments plus foreign contribution so we don't have any foreign contribution there fine 
Similarly, we got this value also. And for m bar b c also, we have got we have to do the same manner. So and we have to write accordingly. So if you remember these three values: seven point double eight, seven point double eight, and eleven point seven nine. So we are writing like this: seven point double eight, seven point double eight, as corresponding to this value, and this value corresponding to this. I am writing in this line, and this I am writing in this line, and this I am writing here. That's what. In the same manner, we have to write here also. Here we don't have any uh, zero, so we are not writing. And if you continue the same with the procedure, so the problem will be completed. Yes, minus zero point two one four. Into minus 55.11. Yes. So using this, uh, the values got completed. Uh, so corresponding values I'll be explaining. Uh, these values will be here, and these values will be here, and these values I am writing here, and 0.25 I am writing here, and this 0.25 I am writing here as zero doesn't have any value. So the answers will be zero. Just now I explained that was a small mistake. Please consider. Yes. So immediately after that, uh, at some iteration level, the problem will get stopped, and at joint two, similarly, R two, R three, and final movements that is fixed end movement plus two times near end contribution plus one time of far end contribution is taken. So if you uh, complete the uh, mathematical solutions here so we can get the final moments so instead of writing in tabular column i have written in this manner also so you can use tabular column or continue like this so this is what regarding a small problem of a portal frame so i think i am clear in this video so if you are not aware of this calculations if you are reading the video for the first time Please go to the other videos in this playlist of Canis method. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching this video.